once you've unboxed your MakerBot Replicator 2X experimental 3D printer and gone through the startup process, you're ready for making new things. If you haven't seen the unboxing or startup process videos yet, make sure you click the link and do so now. In order to make things that aren't already preloaded on the SD card, you'll have to use MakerBot MakerWare. MakerWare is the software that prepares your 3D model for be being printed on the MakerBot Replicator 2X. MakerBot MakerWare is totally free and available online at makerbot.com makerware. Download and install it on your computer the same way you would any other software. If you're just getting started with MakerBot MakerWare, click the link to watch a basic MakerWare tutorial. This video you're watching now is specifically about using MakerBot MakerWare to prepare a model for dual extrusion. Dual extrusion modeling is something that takes a fair amount of expertise, which is one of the reasons we recommend the MakerBot Replicator 2X to those with plenty of patience and prior 3D printing experience. We'll have a video in the near future that goes more into depth about dual extrusion modeling, but for now, let's grab a dual extrusion model from Thingiverse. Go to thingiverse.com slash thing 23549 and click download this thing. Now open up MakerBot MakerWare on your computer. In order for dual extrusion to be enabled in MakerWare, you'll need to make sure MakerWare knows that you're using a machine with two extruders. Check which bot is indicated by the icon in the lower right corner of your screen. You should see the MakerBot Replicator 2X. If you don't see the MakerBot Replicator 2X indicated there, go to the MakerBots menu at the top of the screen and select your machine. Now find the two files, Lotus Color 1 STL and Lotus Color 2 STL on your computer and drag Lotus Color 1 STL onto MakerWare's virtual build plate. Now drag Lotus Color 2 onto the virtual build plate. A pop-up window should appear asking if you want to put the object on the platform. When preparing a model for dual extrusion, it's important to think carefully about how you answer this question. You always want some portion of your model to be touching the surface of your build plate. But oftentimes with a dual extrusion model, one portion of the model sits above the other portion rather than resting on the build plate. In this case, we want Lotus Flower 1 to touch the build plate, but Lotus Flower 2 to sit above it. So we'll have to answer no to this question. Now you'll need to designate which extruder will print which part of your model. Click once on the outer petals of the Lotus. Half of the Lotus should highlight in a lighter shade. Now double click the object button at the left side of your window. Use the drop down menu to select the left extruder. Now let's double check that the other portion of your model will be printed with the right extruder. Close the object window and click on one of the darker lotus petals that aren't currently highlighted. The highlighting will switch to indicate that the other portion of your model is now selected. Open the object window again and select the right extruder from the drop-down menu. Close the object window. To make sure that your object will turn out as planned, it's a good idea to view it in the two colors you plan to print it in. To do this, click the Settings button in the upper right-hand corner of your window. Here you can select two colors that you would like to view the object in. Remember, this is only a visual interpretation of how your model will turn out. You still have to load the correct filament colors on the back of your MakerBot Replicator 2X to get your model to print in the designated colors. When you're happy with your preview, you can close this window. Now save your model. It's a good idea to save your model as a thing file so that the next time you open it, the two portions will be linked together and assigned to different extruders. Use the Make It button to export the file to an SD card or send it directly to your MakerBot Replicator 2X via the USB cable for printing. Make sure that Replicator 2X is selected and that your material and quality choices are correct. Dual extrusion modeling is not a task for beginners, but even if you aren't creating your own dual extrusion models, you still have an opportunity to print out dual extrusion models that other people have made and shared. Use the short link to check out a collection of some of my favorite dual extrusion models on Thingiverse. You can also use dual extrusion to make two colored sets of an object, like a chess set, for instance. Now that you're familiar with MakerBot MakerWare, you can make anything you want. 
Just be sure to watch the maintenance video next so that you know how to keep your MakerBot Replicator 2X running in tip-top shape.